Hello and welcome to this video about the sales management overview in S4HANA. Um, I'll be taking you through the, the apps and the overview page and how you can use that in S4HANA to get insights into your current sales situation. It enables you to respond uh, more quickly as a manager or as a sales employee. And we'll be going through some of the action cards and settings on this overview page. We'll be looking at incoming sales orders, open sales orders, expired quotes. If there are any issues in your sales order fulfillment process, we'll be looking at that. We'll be talking about customer returns, etc. Okay, so let's start. Let's go through the sales overview page. Firstly, before we continue, this is the Fiori layout. I firstly, let's click on the, your settings, your profile and then on settings and then you can see there's a number of options here go to default values make sure that you have set your preferred currency in this case i have selected euros and then also the exchange rate type which you can select from i selected standard translation and save uh, before we save you can also set up your your company code and other um, business area default values that you want to use when running Fiori. Let's scroll down to controlling material management as well. You can set up preferred uh, default material types, plants, purchase org if you work in, in a certain area or with certain plants and purchase orgs. Um, but that's in the case for procurement. We're looking now at sales. So in this case, you can set up your preferred sales order type, sales org, distribution channel, division, sales office. All of these settings are here. Same for logistics execution, this is shipping point, and so on. Right, let's save. Let's go to the sales overview page. If it opens up, you'll see at the top there's a filter bar, which is quite standard in Fiori in some of the apps. Um, with a number of fields available for you to use. You can minimize this, you can collapse it um, if you want to. You can add more fields by clicking on Adapt Filter. There's some additional fields here that you can add um, or remove some of the fields that you don't want to use. In this case, you'll see that the euro or the, the, the currency is, is mandatory. Um, you have to select your currency. You can add your sales org, like we said, as, as default values. Um, in another video, I'll cover how you set up the different um, views with default values that you can use for your own purposes. But this is the default, the default view. So what you have here is the different action cards that's available that you can play with. Um, you can see it's, it's dynamic. You can move them around. And, and play with play with it whatever you prefer another option you have here is to to go to your profile and select manage cards and you'll see you can enable and disable some of the cards um, if you don't want to work with one of these you can just disable it or enable and then click on ok so in this case, I'm going to keep all of these um, available. I'm going to take you through them and talk about it. So what we have here, the first one is incoming sales orders by month. Um, there's the total value. Um, there's a target and a deviation that's calculated by SAP. You've got this KPI here, the drop down, which you can play with. This is under the last four months. You can look at six months or one year and then these numbers will actually you know, change accordingly. Um, then there's the open sales order section here. Um, again, it gives you the, the statuses um, in process. You can actually drill down to a more detailed level. You can go to the manage sales orders app, which is then opened up if you click on that action card. It gives you then the sales order number. Um, and you can also use these fields to filter on specific sales order numbers if you have it um, sold to party numbers here's the customer reference delivery dates statuses values 
you can add fields here yeah. on, on the settings um, the section set settings function then there's there's a number of fields here that you can actually add um, let's say you want to add sales office and sales group SAP will then add those fields accordingly okay let's go back to the previous to the action cards um, let's go to open sales quotes you can see here again it gives you a, an idea of, of what's going on specific quotations um, you can see it's in the red it's valid until two months ago six months ago in nine months um, so it's basically going back into the past and then into the future and you can look at these documents by clicking on it and it will display the quote and the detail okay let's look at the there's a quote pipeline here that you can look at um, there's 81 quotes that actually expires today after a week and not specified right uh, um, let's look at some quick actions that you can play with you can create a sales order from here you can create a quote um, a credit memo request scheduling agreement or a return um, so you can actually create a sales order from here again there's your your standard screen layout with order type sales org and these details you have to complete to to get going to create a quote it will take you to that screen so it's there for you to to actually look at and play with um, and, and give action going um, in your in your sales function uh, there's the credit memo request section that you can also drill down to if you want to analyze that um, you can see the statuses here open and then you can action these and, and you know take it forward to, to get the ball rolling customer returns you have this this the statuses here this active returns refund not completed not released under delivered and created within the last seven days so these are standard ones that sap gives you that you can play with um, um, i think let's look at the not released ones there's there's only one that you can then go into and see what's going on here so this whole this whole page is is built for you to 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 clean up the sales areas the various document types sales orders quotes returns credit memo so it's actually there to to give you a view a once of view of and a quick view of what's going on so sales order fulfillment will give you then the option to to monitor some of the issues you have you can see there's the issues within the order area in supply and delivery in invoice so we can go to the in order one and then it gives you the next level is then detail around you know fulfillment issues and you can see as the number as, as the graphs are populated here um, the issues here are populated by category by sales org by sold to party and by delivery date so there we go it gives you an idea of of what's going on here what's going on here here's a list of the the issues um, there's delivery issues credit block in your sales order there's a billing block in the sales order um, unconfirmed quantities with no stock is yet allocated to your to your sales order um, there's a delivery block incomplete data which is um, we all know it's, it's quite a big problem in sales or in sales orders and then supply issues and you can again work on these and there's the detail if you look at the bottom there's your your details and what you can can look at um, so you have the option here to to select one of these issue statuses let's say you want to look at sales orders with incomplete data there's the issue here it will give you a list of sales order documents with the complete um, sales order data there's your delivery blocked um, orders with delivery blocks you can also play with the chart views of what you want to look at what's the different chart types you can look at the bar chart to give you a different view if you want to present this to someone select the applicable there's a heat map um, there's also then the, there's a combination of the chart and table view or you can just look at the detail and you can export this then to a spreadsheet um, 
uh, send it to people for them to action and to get to get the thing the things going. Um, so yeah, this that was a quick overview of what's happening in the sales overview. Um, hopefully you liked it, and if you want more content, hit the the subscribe button and and like uh, my video. See you again.